thing. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a jellyfish in Touch Designer. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to create a container. Inside the container, I'm going to create a pattern and using the science wave. And then create a circle swap. We don't need the mesh, we only need the arc. So basically what I'm doing here is that I'm replacing the data of the arc with the data I create inside the pattern. So I need the data tool to get the data on the arc. So you can see this is all the positions of the position data of the arc. And we need to change the length of the data to match the data length of the arc. And then we use the absolute time to move the pattern. So now it looks a little bit looks like a jelly now. Then we use a uh, data tool to switch the chalk data to the DAT data. Then we create a null here and rename it with the X position. also the pattern chop. And then we create an evaluate and a table to replace the original data position inside the sub to data. Meet.input cell means the original data from the soft to table. And we use the data to add the the exposition data. We use the operator xpos and then the meet.input row dot x. There's a spelling mistake. We need to correct it. And then we use the data to swap to replace the original data position. Now you can see the arc is moving exactly what it looks like inside the pattern. And we can adjust the radius of the original swap to get a better wave and also you can play with the parameters inside the pattern so you can get the the pattern you really like and then we use the sweep swap with a circle swap here as our or another input data and adjust the division into 20 because we don't need 40 is too much now as you can see it is quite similar to the jellies head now but there's only lines here and there's a, also a hole on the top of the model and I don't like it so I just adjust the, the radius of the circle I'm using and you can see the hole is nearly closed but still not really disappeared after all I realized I can use a cap soap to close it and then we create a skin soap 
and now it convert the line to a mesh as you can see and then is the attribute create dot turn on the tangent and the normal and then create a geometry also the camera lights and the render top and adjust the camera position As you can see, there's still a little hill here on the top. I don't like it. So I change the radius to 0, 0 0.003. So now you see it's disappear. And then we create, we duplicate the patterns here to create the white position. Because now the jelly only move on the X wave. There's no, there's no wave on the Y axis. And the process is almost the same with the previous things we have done above. All we need to do is just copy and paste. Uh, I don't like the hole is bigger than before, so it takes me a while to figure out how to close it. What I'm doing here is that I'm trying to to stop moving the first point of the whole wave because we don't need that moving like that because it's gonna create a big hole as you can see there. We we only need the rest point moving like the the moving sine wave. You can play around with all the parameters here. For example, the the amplitude, the step, the steps, and you can Every get the 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 wavy shape you like of the jelly. And the next thing we need to do is to create the legs of the jelly and it's the same with the process we have done before. We just duplicate all the data here and then create new leg sobs.
and also duplicate the arc here. And remember to change the the spelling inside the table. Otherwise, it's gonna move in exactly like the 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 head data, and you don't need that. And for the tail, we need it to be we need it to be longer. Exactly like what we have done before. And if we increase the divisions, it's gonna give you more details of the legs. But remember to change the length of the pattern. And then we just need the merge stop to merge the head and the tails here. And insert a transform stop here to adjust the position. And I just found uh, if we invert, reverse the, the lag, it looks more vivid, more more like a jelly. And the uh, amplitude here helped me to adjust the moving steps. Now it's pretty like a uh, jelly here. And the next thing we need to do is the texture. I create the uh, environment slide here and also give it a uh, material. And create a PBR material. And you can see the PBR texture is reflecting the light of the environment light we just created. The blue is not coming from the original texture. And I just put in the texture I have prepared before. Give it a color. And the uh, texture stuff here helps me to adjust the position of the texture. Don't 
the RGB key simply give a black background. Remember to turn on the blend transparency in the PBR. Otherwise, it's it's not gonna blending in transparency mode. Playing around with the parameters here and choose the color you like. The roughness here is deciding how clear you can see the picture on the environment light. As you can see, in I will attach the link under the video. So this is not what I'm what I have created. This is downloading from another YouTuber who is creating uh, the jellyfish tutorial for Civ Cinema 4D and I really like it so you can create your own, it doesn't matter and what I'm trying to do here uh, is I'm gonna use another geo to render the vein of the jelly I'm not gonna render it inside the the geo one cuz I'm gonna using another trick to make the whole jelly looks more 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 brighter and glowy remember to change the the transparency modes and also the constant and the emit color so you can see there's only the wing as you can see I have tried to render the two geo inside one top and just to try uh, how how far I can go, how better it's gonna look like. Although I have created uh, the blur to make a glow here, but as you can see, it's losing too much details, and it's also too bright. Although we have created a level to adjust the transparency of the jelly.
We use the Luma Blur to create a depth view. And now, as you can see, it is blurring, but it looks really like a depth camera. You can play around with all the parameters here. And I insert a noise top here to get more details of the texture. And the last thing we can do is to insert an extrude stop here and so we can change the legs from the align to a um, box. It has more details, but remember sometimes it's gonna kill in your graphic card, your GPU. So if it's too difficult for your, for your PC, you can decide to delete it. And thank you for watching the video. Forgive my poor English and my poor expression and hope to see you soon.